Hi, I'm Joey Pickard, German audio engineer and guitar player and today we're going to find out how much output power the Victory V30 Contest MK2 can put out of his 6L6 tubes. So in my last video I um, tested the MT15 from uh, PRS. Uh, we found out that uh, the output power is higher than uh, the data sheet is telling us and now it's on the time uh, to see if uh, the V30 has the same on more output or maybe it's less. I don't know it, I haven't tried it out yet. Uh, this amplifier has uh, in some um, four different power stages on high power, so we uh, high and low power, so we can um, Played in clean and in lead, and it should have, according to the data sheet, two um, different power outputs. So, 42 watts in clean and 38 watts in lead channel. I don't know if we find out it here, but it's telling us on the data sheet that this is is so. I don't know it. We're going to find out, and then we have a. This is the high output power, and then we have a low output power. I'm assuming that is a pentode and a pentode and a triode um, usage of the power amps, and we're going to find out how much high power out in clean and in lead channel, and how much in the low power of those both um, channels we have. Uh, again. I'm putting on a sine wave with 82.6 hertz. It's according to uh, the east, lower E string of the E guitar. Um, so it's comparable to my other videos, and it's a uh, it's a frequency you know from playing guitar. But it's a clean sine wave, no guitar sound or something. Just the clean sine wave. You can see it up here already on the oscilloscope because I'm putting it out. This one has the master volume behind the effect return so I'm going directly out of my interface with that sine wave into the effect return. I don't use the preamp because the preamp is maybe distorting at the lead channel and the clean channel not so much but we are not interesting in, uh, interested in distortion from the preamp. We are interested in how much output power and maybe distortion the uh, power amp has. So, okay, sine wave out of the computer into the V30 and then I'm in the high power mode now, it's engaged and then I'm going out on the 100 watts 15 ohms resistor 15, I don't have 16, maybe I will but no I don't have it but it's not that bad uh, and I'm watching the output directly on the resistor on my uh, oscilloscope channel 2. Channel 1 is for the input signal that I'm putting into the effect loops return so I can watch that the input signal is clean going into the valve amp and we can see it is coming clean out of the power stage until we reach the point where we can measure the maximum output power. Okay, let's start. Again I'm starting ATA, the software that is recording the distortion value of the output power stage. I'm now in the clean mode in high and we start and there it comes. We are at peak to peak 10 volts output. I'm going further. I'm going again show it on the oscilloscope where we are and what we are looking for. So 
So this is looking pretty clean. This is a nice sine wave compared to the input signal. It's it's totally okay. So we had uh, 3.2 percent THD total harmonic distortion at this moment, and uh, I'm going further to 25. 25 volts peak, so 50 volts peak to peak, and it's it's a minimal uh, distortion seeable in the sine wave. I'm going up, I'm going up, up to up to 30 volts peak to peak, and where is the bottom and the top? There it is. Here we can see it. The bottom is distorting before the top. Uh, let's reach the. There it is. Up and down. So where are we at? Maybe. Let's say that's 32 volts peak. 32 volts. For all to understand, this is 10 volts per division for output. So now this should be 10 peak and 10 peak down. So 20 peak to peak. And this is the maximum output power we can reach. There it is, 32 volts. Okay, so we remember 32 volts. in 32 volts peak in clean on high mode so i do the same thing for the lead channel and then for the lower mode let's have a look so now lead channel and we go up 10 Around about 20. We're at 3.25 percent THD. It's okay. It's the same as in the clean channel. And we go up, 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 up. And where is it? There it is. Okay, totally up. That's not pr pretty much lower than than the clean channel. I don't think they have different um, maximum output powers. But it could be that they do a little volume low lowerage in the preamp in the lead channel to get a bit less output maximum power but i don't think this is really a thing they have the same output maximum okay so 32 volts peak also in the clean uh, in the lead channel in the lower mode i'm starting with the clean channel there we are at 10 I don't know if we reach 20. We have now 6% six, 6 distortion at 10 volts peak to peak. Okay, further and further. We can see it's much more distorted now. And there is the top and the bottom and it's at, let's hold it here, 14 volts. in walls in clean on low and again the same for the lead channel here we are 10 volts maybe a bit less okay also run about 6 THD and up, 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 and there is the top. Okay, it's also 14 volts peak to peak. Okay, I turn the V30 off, and now we have to perform Ohm's law and calculate how much power comes out from 32 volts peak on a 15 ohm resistor and 14 volts peak on a 15 ohm resistor. Okay, there we have it. 32 volts peak at clean and lead in the high power mode and 14 volts peak at clean and lead at the low power mode. Now we have to find out um, at first, because we measured this, This is 
the peak voltage or U peak for the formula guys. This one and we've watched where here the end is. The amplifier can reach more output voltage here. So we have the same for down and we we at first have to know what the RM, RMS um, root main square value would be of that sine wave. So we got to find out what this this area would be if it were a rectangle. We could perform the same for the lower voltage and after that put it up it's, it just plus or minus. Um, but what is interesting we need to have the area value from a sign compared to a rectangle so we need to know what the ratio between this to this is and if we want a rectangle that has the same area as a half sine wave we need to perform the value or the ratio um, 1 2 square root of 2 so like in my last video we have to calculate the values with that factor that factor is a bit rounded a bit 0707 so we need to perform 0707 multiplied with up and to know which one is which up1 is for the high power mode and up2 is for the low power mode so 007 multiplied with 32 volts peak is u or m s1 and that is 22.624 I'm getting a bit trouble off the place here okay now we need it for the lower voltage also so u r m s2 0 0.2 707 multiplied with up2 is 707 multiplied with 14 volts peak so and we get 700 there multiplied with 14 9.898 volts okay next step is easy Ohm's law um, we all know <coughs> so u is r multiplied with i the current resistant voltage and we know p our power is u multiplied with i so now we need to get this away because we didn't measure the current so we can take this formula because we want to know the power and we can keep the u but we have to do something with that so we have to change that formula that we can fill in i i this formula is just r at the downside is u divided by r and then we put it this inside there so u multiplied with u divided by r and that is u square r and our u is the r m s value so now we can pow calculate our power one is 22 6 4 square divided by 15 ohms and power 2 is 9.898 volts square divided 15 ohms
and there we are 34.123 watts on the high output and 6.53 watts on the low output this is not really what um, the data sheet is telling us um, the high output uh, seems to be a little low um, but I'm I have to be true my oscilloscope is not calibrated so maybe I'm, I'm plus mi plus minus uh, a, bi a bit uh, in my other video uh, I had um, pointed out a ratio of uh, 24 a bit above 24 watts for the PRS and maybe it's just 20 but it's it's more than 15 watts and this one is lower so I now know either the PRS has much more output power or the victory has lower output power than the um, factorer is telling but it's okay it's sounding good it's loud enough for playing live to, to a 212 cabinet I like the amp I like it not much um, compared to the PRS because I like the really heavy metal sound American sound but everyone has got to find his tone but now you know the wattage, the high and low wattage of the Victory V30 contest.